Appreciate it. Mr. Speaker, sir, I must uh, applaud uh, the Honorable Member for his interest in uh, the sea walls in the villages situated in uh, Nateo Bay Peninsula. I, and I congratulate him for the question. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, the Ministry has completed the construction of a 400-metre boulder retaining wall at Ndrekeniwe village in the South South District. <clears throat> the project marks a significant milestone in the Ministry's efforts to protect coastal communities from the impacts of climate change and coastal erosion. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Ministry is working closely with the Asian Development Bank and anticipates signing a grant agreement worth 1.5 million US dollars for the nature-based solutions seawall projects in, the, in, the, in this financial year. This donor-funded initiative will fund the construction of six nature-based solution seawalls, which include two sites within the Nateo Bay Peninsula in Vanovo village, in the uh, Vaturovo district, and Navetau village in the Sangani district. Mr. Speaker, sir, in the first quarter of 2024-2025 financial year, the Ministry is set to sign a grant agreement worth US $5 million with the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC Adaptation Fund through the Pacific Community. This project will construct 14 nature-based solution seawalls with Tawake Village in the Sangani District being one of the sites in the Nateo Bay Peninsula. Mr. Speaker, sir, in conclusion, these projects demonstrate the Ministry's commitment to enhancing the resilience of coastal communities through sustainable and environmentally friendly infrastructure, and the Ministry is grateful for the support of international partners that enable the implementation of these critical projects. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.